If you want to change the password for the Zossi IP camera, I have the solution for you. So keep watching. Hello, welcome to my channel, Claudemir here again with another video. And today we are going to change the Zossi IP camera password. I have a camera here connected to my router. I got from a kit, so the camera is not connected to the NVR anymore. It's directly at my router and I want to change the password. Here is a simulation, right? Here's a, it's a router. My real router is in the another room. So here is just to you guys understand how I connected my camera. It's connected to the first port here and my laptop is connected to the router via Wi-Fi. And here I have connection to the camera, of course, the UTP cable and here power supply connected to the camera. So I can have the camera in the router instead of the NVR, okay? So let's come here to the diagram so you can understand better what I mean, how to change the password and everything else. And guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up, leave your comments, and hit the bell notification to receive information about more videos like this one, okay? So here at my computer, we can see a diagram with the IP camera, a laptop, the router, and the internet. So basically, what we have here is the IP for the router. In my case, it's 192.168.2.1. In your case, it would be different, of course. This is just an example. And here at the laptop, I have a similar IP. As you can see, 192.168.2.160. So both IPs are dot .something here at the end. Dot, dot .1 here and dot .160. But for the camera, it's different, right? The camera has 192.168.138.1. So it's 138 something. So to be able to have access directly to the camera from your laptop, you must be at the same range here, meaning you have to use an IP like this one. Let's say 192.168.138.160, just an example. So what you can do is go to your laptop and I add an extra IP. The laptop can have more than one IP. So you can have the original one and add an extra one, and then you can have access to your camera and change your password, all right? So let's do, do this right now. Let's go to here to network configuration and add an extra IP to the laptop so you can change the IP on the, uh, the password on the camera. So here we go in the computer, you're going to open the Wi-Fi network. You just click, right click here, open network internet connections. You can come here to Ethernet, change adapter options. And here you see all your connections. I'm not using cable, so that's why it's not working here. I'm using Wi-Fi, so that's the one I'm going to change. If you're using cable, connect to your computer, you're going to change here. But in my case, it's here. I just right click, go to properties. And here in this uh, window, I come here to internet protocol version four properties, and then here I have my IP. Okay, I I using manual configuration here. So then I can have this IP and also an extra IP. I just come here to advance it. And here I can have more than IP. As, as you can see here, I can add one more. Let's say if I'm using this example, one nine, uh, let me see here again, 192.168.138. 160. And the subnet mask, it's 255, 255, 255, Just an example, right? So when you hit add and you have your extra IP. I already did that, so I'm not, go I'm not doing it again. Let me just cancel here. And here we go. That's the way I have a second IP. And now I can open an Internet Explorer. Let me just get mine here. Here we go. And then you can use the IP. For the camera, 192.168.138.101. Okay, so add me and you type your password. Add me again, the original password. And here we go. You can click here and have access to your camera. So you just come here to config. And here you have basic and user authentication. And here you can change your password. Here's the user, admin. I know that's the user because I did that. It's in Chinese here for some reason, but I got a translator here. I just paste it here and I see that's the username, okay? 
the same with the password just to make sure I'm doing the right thing here because if you mess up, you don't have access to your camera anymore. Okay, so to confirm your password and here we go. So add me, let me just change here. Type some password and hit okay. And it says that it's saved it, right? So now I'm just close this and open it again. Here we go. Now I'm going to try my new password. And here we go. It's working. The password is changed. So I'm not using the original one anymore. Okay, so that's all guys. Now you ha you know how to change your Zosi IP cameras password. And if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up and also the bell notification. So thank you very much. And I see you in the next video.